All right, welcome back to Live at 430. It is now time for Money Monday. The stock market bottomed out 10 years ago this month, marking the height of the Great Recession. Yeah, so joining us live this afternoon is Brad Allen here to talk about what happened. Yeah, where were you on March 4th, 2009? Yeah. It really was, we didn't know it was the bottom. Right. Now we know it was. What was the biggest mistake people made that day? Well, the S&P hit uh, 676 points. That was the bottom of the S&P. Dow hit the same on that, on that day. And uh, the biggest thing is, you know, it depends on your timeline. You know, how close are you to retirement? The closer you get, the more you want to pull back on the risk. Just think if you were two years from retirement, in the market, I mean, most people lost about 40% of their portfolio. So uh -huh. if you lose 40% right before retirement, do you have to keep working? What does that look like? Yeah. So going into the game, what should you be prioritizing? Yeah, so the, the first one is going to be dialing back on the risk a little bit. You know, the closer you get, the more you want to pull back on the risk. But what does that actually mean? Mm -hmm. uh, so you hear the term diversification. So you yep. want to diversify into different areas or funds or stocks or different things to spread out the risk. If this sector of the market's not doing well, you have this sector that's doing well. Um, so diversify as much as possible, but also consider your age. You know, the closer you get, the more you pull back on the risk. But the closer you get, I mean, it, it depends on who you are. It depends on how aggressive you want to be, how conservative. At Drake & Associates, what we do is put a risk tolerance together. Figure out what your risk tolerance, what you feel comfortable with, what you're actually at. See if that's in line. Because if you're way up here for your risk tolerance and you want to be here, you losing a lot of money in the downturn. I know, and they ask you that question. My answer always, I don't want to lose any money and I right. want to make as much as possible, okay? <laughs> right. That's not in your categories, yeah. right? Yeah. But yeah. it's understanding the volatility, that mm -hmm. when the market goes up 20, 25%, you want to capture as much as that. When sure. it goes down 20 or 25%, I don't want to be in that lane. Yeah, yeah. but then I mean, how do you sit still and know that when I lose, it's going to regain? Yeah, eventually. well, that's, that's the, the, the thinking the long term, right? So you have to think long term. Cool stat is uh, 2007 to 2017. If you kept putting money and didn't change anything in your accounts to the Great Recession, kept putting money into it, you would have tripled your investment in that period of time. Versus Think a lot about of people that. Right. Who took money out when the market was going down, sure. locked in that loss, and then you, it's hard to find the time to get back into the market after you do that. Because so. even the smartest investor will tell you they're never smart enough to know when to get out mm -hmm. right. and when to be in. Yeah. And, and so the thinking is. Stay long term. Yeah, and control what you can control. You can't control the market. It was down today, it might be up tomorrow. You just don't know. Right. So control what you can. So keep putting money into the market. When the market's down, that's the best time to put money in the market. Everything's at a lower price. So when the sure. market goes back up, you're going to see the benefits of that. So you just have to stick with the plan. Work with somebody that uh, you trust, that, that can put a plan together, that, that knows what to look for, and that can really help. All so right. don't stuff the mattress. That's right. Never stuff the mattress. <laughs> All right, thanks, thanks, Brad. Thank you. We'll be right back after this.